Alrighty, gang, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest 11. I again want to say I am streaming this on Twitch, so if you guys on YouTube are watching this on an archive, feel free to come over to Twitch anytime because I'm normally streaming the hell out this game while recording episodes for you guys. So, anyway, what we want to do is get ready to head out and defeat the well actually we can't get ready we have to pretty much get the knowledge to defeat the wicked witch and right now we need to go to the library holy cow look how freaking stormy it is look at this blizzard so anyway we need to head to the library I did do some off-camera shenanigans. By off-camera shenanigans, I mean pretty much just forging, reworking equipment. Oh wow, the, the cape was moving all kinds of crazy. I don't think we fought these guys before. I don't think we fought these guys before. Luminous lamplings. We can come get a luminous ass whoop. Dun, 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 dun. All right, 42 damage. All right, that's nothing, man. 45. Old man is about to get 35 of that back soon. All right, let's multi-thrust, because that is a great... <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> he just died. Huh, 97, 86. Look at that. Ooh, baby. So, one of the things... We reworked off camera was the restorative armlet, which heals at plus three. When you rework it to plus three, the restorative armlet recovers 25 HP per turn. And then we also gave him a healing MP or a healing HP. Um, it, it was one of the DLC items, and we reworked that like way back ago to plus three, where it heals 10 per turn. We were using that since the beginning of the game. Now we gave that on top of his restorative armlet, so he recovers 35 per turn, which is really great. Anyway, Luminous Lampling, goodbye. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna probably whack him. Oh, I didn't want it. Deliverance. <laughs> she knocked his lights out. Get it? We knocked his lights out. She flash kicked him. And he's a lamp. And lamp or a source of light. And we knocked his life out because we ended his life. Which was his light. Alright. Let's just wait. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Look at that bear sleeping. All righty. Gaming Boy, thank you for the five bits. No, I'm never going to stop making puns. The big pun. They call me Papa Pun. Oh, we never fought these guys either. Hey, Drum Boy. Drumbino. Hey. Yo, that was a lot of damage. I'm gonna harvest moon the guy over here. Uh. She's just gonna heal herself. Bongo, bongo. Bongo, bongo. I tell you what, the chilla don, the don. <laughs> chilla don, more like chilla don. All right. So we're going to. Wow, multi heal is really lovely looking. Ooh, baby. That would have been really good to have in the first place. Huh. 
Oh, y'all want to call for backup? Some of y'all about to get waxed. I'm sorry, but uh, one of y'all is getting whacked. Yeah, these dudes are being a little bit of obnoxious, but we got multi thrust on deck. We can just spam it. Uh, goodbye. Yeah, I keep on calling for backup. Give me, give me this EXP. Because you know I love EXP, dude. That's all you're giving me is more EXP. Y'all ain't doing anything but being obnoxious. So we're gonna swoosh. Their single attacks are pretty uh, good. Uh, let's just you know, get some MP back. Uh, damn, watch them. We win again. Da -da 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 -da. Oh no? Okay. Ava branch. Ooh. Hold on, there might be a chest over here. There's gotta be something over here. Yup. Seed of sorcery. Alright. That should probably increase our magic attack. Probably will. Oh god, I didn't even see him. Oh yikes. There's a lot of enemies. Now too bad we gotta kill. Alright. Oh my god. Nice damage, ass well. Like, come on guys. That really gonna do all that damage to us? She doesn't have multi heal yet. Right. You got a key. Kill all four. Wow, she did. Multi heal. <laughs> These dudes are doing mad damage. Mad damage. We might be under leveled here. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, nice leap. Multi heal is 32. Holy cow. Don't worry, I'm here to help. These baby tigers are doing a lot of damage. Like a lot of damage. Like and they get two attack or two attacks. First swipe, per turn. Nice, six skill points. We are starting to get a bunch. Actually, let's see what we can do with them. Giga Slash, we can get Gig. Oh, wait, do we even want that? No, we don't. <laughs> anyway, Giga Smash, counter when blocking parrying. And it was the users to occasionally counter with a, a successful blocker parry. Hmm, if I had if I had great sword guard and then counter yeah that'd probably be worth it mm 
You know what? More attack power, please. <laughs> yeah, boy, more attack power. I need to get stronger. Brightening rock, wow. So keep in mind, like, the two accessories we have on, or excuse me, the two uniforms we have on with the girls increase the item drop rate. So we just basically got a rare drop. Where I've been seeing more item drops than normal, which is how it's supposed to be with this damn uniform. But it must significantly give you a boost. Because I've been seeing a lot of item drops. First campfire we see we are going to pretty much just go ahead and rest up. No chest over here. We fought all these guys. Try to avoid these idiots. Arborean high Oh, we can go to Arborea. Really? Let's go ahead and rest up here because we need some MP restoration. Hey, look, we can forge. Well, we got some forging stuff here. Focus grease by one. That's it. Boo. Go home. Go home. Alright, if I have any seeds of strengths, I am going to put them on your boy. Alright, Mighty. Hmm. Give that to Veronica. Only by two, huh? Seed of Agility. I'm going to give that to Rab. Only increased it by two. Alright, Seed of Strength. Give that to the boy, two. We got three of these, so. Actually, Jay can get that skill now, so I don't need to use those on her yet. See the life. It's probably by 5 HP, right? Veronica. <laughs> Veronica needs that. Veronica just needs that. Like, holy cow. See the magic. Increases MP. Oh, you know who's getting that? Well, oh, does Jay really need it? Who run who's running out of MP so quick? Well, I guess I can still give it to Jade. I'm giving that to Jade. All of them goes to Jade. She had the lowest pull of MP. And yeah, she has an MP recovery item. It's just, man. Deafness. Give it to Eric. Defense. Resilience. He's gonna be in a party 90% of the time, so I'm just gonna give it to him. Having more resilience on him is good. Alright. Let's rest up. Till dawn. We're gonna do work. <laughs> Alright, we are now about to head to the library, which is not this way, because that leads to Arborea. But what if we check south of this area? I know some of you are like, oh my god, he's using a fucking horse. That's... I've never seen this horse ever. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty quick. Alright, so here we go. So we're about to head up to the library. In which we might get into a fight. Whoa, look at that guy. That guy looks interesting. Anything over here? Mirror stone. No, let me get this preempt on this guy. Oh, in the back. It's a group of hunter mechs. What do we do? Oh, it's Dr. Jarrell's inventions. Wow. That was a lot of damage. Hey. 
Wow, that was a lot of damage. Jeez. How do we be damaged? You fight damage with damage. Holy shit. Man, fuck it. Just kill this guy. I think this goes crazy. This old man does not play. I actually really just want to see how this works out. Okay, it's actually really bad. Nice crit. Four hits. Each hit can fucking crit. Which is pretty interesting. Man, these guys are looking like threats right now, man. I wonder what they drop. So let's take a look at the defeated enemy list. Molten Globules. Face Invader. Royal Ruby. Ice Crystal. Tough Guy Tattoo. Ursa. Alright, let's keep going. Yep, I had a feeling. I was like, I bet you this is going to be a fucking target if I just keep flying like this. Uh. Like, boom. So that's the second one of this particular fucking region. Oh, we, oh let's... Like, hold up. Wow. So apparently when you get off the horse, they still come at you. Of course, they go first. Oh, breath. We're gonna breathe on you. You know what? Multi thrust. They both tuck 120. That's good. Swoosh. This might kill both. This should kill them. It does kill them. So, with the kill, the Chilodons. Chonodons. All right, let's heal up. Let's fight a troll. That's not what I want. Like, why is it? Why are they giving me the crossbow when I'm that close? There we go. Oh my god, that's a problem. And we're going to Kasap. I almost feel bad about this. Alright, go for the right one. Go for the right one. <laughs> she did about equal damage to the guy. That was even debuffed another one. She did about the same damage to both. I seen that. What the hell was that about? Uh -oh. All we need is Silvando and we get free level ups and I think I'm gonna do that. She hit nothing but the dude on the left. <laughs> I think he tried to get a crit. Fuck you.
Wow, she bopped him. Not back up. So Vonda wants to be in. What? I didn't even see this fucker. Off camera dude. All right, this is actually good. Because if Silvando goes into... Because at this moment, I'm just going to pretty much wait until Silvando goes into his mode. I'm going to wait until Silvando goes into Pep. This dude went twice. So you that type of dude, huh? Finally! Fucking after three years, Servando's dumbass decides to go in the pep. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Who else wants some? Like everybody else has went into pep. What this dude? Like that's insane. Had everything else set up to this point. But Silvando, I'm like, okay, Silvando shouldn't even take that long to go and pet. Anyway, so after six years of Silvando deciding to finally pep up, we can attempt to do one very specific thing that requires Soul, Jade, and Silvando. And... Basically, we're going to be able to turn people into middle slimes, which is why I was like, you know what? Since Jade and Soul just turned into Pep, they, since they got pepped up, I might as well just pep up Silvando really quick so I can just get some uh, easy level up. That was obnoxious. So here we go. We got everybody pepped up. So we're going to save the game there. Uh, we got the team. Uh, what we want to do, Eric. I guess Falcon Knife actually works because we can at least... No, what the? We can at least get two guaranteed hits with the other one. So what I guess I'll do here is give him the soaring steel and the cruiserang, and then he'll end up using metal slash or metal whatever, and then he can bop whoever he wants. So we just have to get in a fight and unleash it. And since we say that we ain't gotta, yeah. All right, cool. All right, so we're gonna activate Electrolyte. You know what? I should have accelerated first. Oh, look at that. Because we did not get who we want, you know what we can do? We can just run. We're just gonna run away from these guys. And if we don't run, if we don't run the next time, we're going to pretty much just load the game up the, uh, the old fashioned way. The good old fashioned way. The good old fashioned way of running. The good old fashioned way of running. <laughs> bloop bloop! What, running? You can't run. You can't run. So anyway, if we don't get metal slimes, we just reset. And at this point, I already know some people are like, oh, well, why are you doing this now when it's more uh, optimal to do it later when you have shit set up? Well, I'm doing it now because I want to because that's how I learned how to play the game and that's how I learn how to set up shit, all right? Having a good experience with something, having experience with a, set, uh, with a, a strategy or a setup, I need to have experience with. I'm not going to be able to, like... If I were to do this later, I still would have to go through this and learn how to fucking set it up and shit. That's why I'm doing it now. Alright. What we're gonna do... We're gonna just set up some shit. Wow, I just realized. <laughs> Only Silvando. Wow, really? Really, my ninja? <laughs> Why 
We'll have soul activated. If, if, uh, if it's so at this point this is the end of the round of turns this is the end of round of turns so a salad rattle might not even matter because they still might go right after us which, which actually suck let's see what we got Hey, new monsters appear. Fucker. Alright, first things first, I'm the realist. No, but for real, um... Guaranteed hits, if we use... Metal Liquor. Well, I ain't gonna say guaranteed, but... Multiple hits. If we use Metal Liquor... Thrust. <laughs> du, 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 du. Ooh, get shit, Silvando. Good shit. How much do these fuckers give me? Probably like 4,000 or some shit. Alright. That was worth. That was definitely worth. Thank you very much. If I was able to kill both of them, that would have been great. Alright. We will take those. Joining forces with your friends to perform 50 pet powers. Trophy? Trophy? No trophy. So we got, we finally got what we wanted. We got the setup. They're gonna rest. If I got two of those fuckers, man, that was gonna be great. The fact that he got a crit on his second hit of the Falcon Slash was, or the Falcon Sword, was really lovely. So anyway, like I said, if I see two of those characters go into pet mode, I am going to automatically just try to farm for that next pet. Anyway, what we want to do is just be on our way towards the stupid lighthouse now. Alright. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope. Don't even care about half of y'all. I thought they were only gonna give me like 4k, but they get they dead ass just gave me 10k experience for killing one. Imagine if I did Hallelujah before that, which is not even worth doing because you would have to sit there and, and farm pep up. So unless I have like pep power or something, like pep up power shit, which allows you to force pep up, that'll get it super easy later on. Hey, I found the target. Let's go. Boom. That might be four. Yeah, that's four targets, I think. Three or four. <gasps> I didn't know you could fall down right there. Why? 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 Now I gotta walk all the way the fuck back. Why would they change the rules all of a sudden, man? Oh, my God. That's a bull. I'm glad I could just skip all the encounters. Like, man, that was kind of whack, bro. I fucking fell off the cliff. I didn't think they let me fall off. They'd be like, all right, normally 90% of the time is invisible walls, but not anymore. 
can't believe I just fucking fell off the cliff. Now they gonna do this? Now they wanna start making me fall off cliffs? I had no clue that was gonna happen. So you may be wondering, Sarah, okay, did something happen? Mmm, I fell off a cliff. And I had to walk another two minutes <laughs> back to where I needed to get. All right, we found the chest. Anti-freeze earrings. He puts it in the equipment, yes. Let's see what the equipment does. Ice damage reduced by 25% if we up it up. So, I mean, that would be good for like, if we know we're about to fight ice bosses and enemies and whatnot. But finally, we made it to the damn library after six years of getting bodied. Oh, oh we got enemies in the library. It's the sham sandwiches. Oh, you know we gotta fight these guys. Oh, come on, man. All right, good thing they only do 22 damage. That's not good. Okay. I'm going to do Omph or Omph. Who is gonna get it? Jade. Oof. Let's get that oof going. Let's get her multi thrust time for Jade to get in those booties. Bye. Oh my, he got a crit. At least they don't do head ass damage. I'm good. They don't do ridiculous damage. Oh, look at Eric. Hey, Silvando. Hey, look at me. I just pepped up again in the last half an hour. Like, it took literally so long for him to pep up. It took Silvando way too long to pep up, man. That, it was a problem. Edge of sleep. Clob is an enemy with cutting edge before sending him off to sleep. Ha ha ha! That's right, you missed some pretty good puns. So, there's a lamp enemy in this game, right? And you know how lamps have lights, right? Jay knocked out the lamp, technically knocking his lights out, and I said, hey, we just knocked his lights out. Get it? Get it? Because we knocked his lights out? <laughs> Literally? And it's a saying? And we killed him? And we... Basically, a lot of people like to consider life light. So we knocked his light his light out, you know? His lights out. Come on, you get it? You get it? Nobody? And let me get this chest, though. 4,000 gold. I'm getting really good at this pun game, man. My pawns are getting uh, pretty good. You're the first goo man to have visited this place in a long slime. <laughs> Welcome to the Royal Library, home of the greatest collection of books in the Ordrea. Since you've come all this way, I'll tell you something really useful. This building's like a puzzle box when you press the glowing switches. Ooh, a puzzle? Puzzles in an RPG? But first, you gotta press this big green button next to me. That will activate the switch so you can actually ooze them. Keep your eyes peeled for the other glowing green switches. I love the slimes, but not really. And there might be a recipe here. Hey, now nah, get away, get away, bro. Wizard's chemical. It's magically sealed and you can't read it. Magically sealed? Uh -uh, leave me alone, bro. Leave me alone. Go eventual frustration some other way. Not with me. I ain't in the mood. Alright, so we're gonna go have to hit that switch. We read that book already. Let's go hit this switch.
They blink into life, huh? Bring me into life. Wake me up. Wake me up, man. Say, wake me up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, was that like a roulette? So I think some new areas opened up because of that. So we kind of want to backtrack. Oh no, these areas are the same. I thought maybe the entire dungeon rotate. Whoa, it's these statues. Holy shit, it's these guys again. I think you can fight the statues. Yeah, you can fight the statues. Living fucking statue. The classic. Hella chopper. Anyway, can we put this dude to sleep? Night, night. All right, we're gonna need some um, on phone jade. Ha, ha. I really need to get Serena or somebody else in. <laughs> Two hundred and nine damage. Oh. I'm trying to be the thwomp. All right, you ready for this cutting edge technology? Uh, gave it to him. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! All right, finish him, Jade. Jade wins. Get in here, Jade. Mortal Kombat finish. Two seventy-six. We win again. Ba da 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 ba ba. Cause snooze? Oh baby! You cause snooze, you cut lose. We just got cause snooze. That's amazing. Oink, 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 oink. They're oinking, dude. Do you hear that? This team is very non-traditional, and I don't think this team is gonna really last long in here. But I might as well just go up the stairs. That was a stupid shower. Huh! It's a group of shadows. It's a league of shadows, bro. They really don't like my team, huh? Alright, somebody's going to sleep for life. And... You know what? Set it off and his mother was a... Uh... Alright. Let's get a thunder thrust on Shadow 8, please. Ah. Uh... Well, I'll tell you what. Cutting Edge should kill Shadow 8. He's already in the yellow. So he's dead. I'm just gonna defend. Allow her to stack up her MP. You know, we're gonna make sure he's dead. Eric, you about to get this on. Ha! Ha! Oof! Persecutor! 320. <laughs> Good day. Another one bites the. Another one bites the dust. Yes, yes. We know you're, you're a big fan of Queen. You watch all the JoJo episodes. We know. Whoa, look at that guy over there. He's a freaking lu a luchador. Mucha, lucha, mucha, lucha. Yeah. Let's read this book. Recipe? Sealing of the Serpent. Long, long ago in the frozen land of the north, there lived a great black serpent that terrorized the people of Sniffleheim. One day, a brave young man came forth and bested a dragon in battle. Having done so, he sealed it away in the ice of the frozen lake of the Sneerfelt. The great hero has long since passed. Should the best beast ever escape its icy prison, Sniffleheim will surely fall under his cruel gaze once more. So is that the witch they're talking about? The witch is actually a fucking dragon? Alright! I still think there's probably a possibility that we can learn a good recipe or two. Dude, why are these pigs oinking in here, man? 
Coin, 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 coin. Alright, so we read it, or we can't read it. Everyone's at, almost at full health. Oh yeah, you know we gotta fight this guy. Uh! A group of rectors. What do you call? What do you guys go by the rector? We wreck shop. We wreck shop. All right, multi thrust time. Nice. Definitely get dude out of here. Go home. Damn. Launched him. Good stuff. Silvando. Hot lick. Hot lick? No, I think he'll wake up if I use hot lick. Let's test it out. Alright, sweet. It's considered magic. I'm down with it. Let's get the guaranteed kill, though. Because when they're asleep and he uses Persa Cutter, night, night. we do 200 times more damage. We Not really. David, darling. We just do 10 times more damage, I believe. The worst curse. My story starts innocently enough. I was walking through the forest one day when I came across a le ledger de man. Who? He's known as me and flew into a rage. How dare you embarrass me like that, Bello? You'll soon see how you like it. And with that, it stormed off. Ever since that day, my life has been one embarrassment after another. There's not a doubt in my mind that this is the work of the ledger de man. When I started my prayers at chapel, I certainly need, I certainly need the lavatory. If I try to talk to a lady, I become so distracted I forget what to say. And in combat, I'm struck dumb with thoughts of previous failures. Mark my words, dear reader. This is the embarrassing curse in all Erdrea. Shy pox. Alas, even my powers of imagination has been rendered cringe-inducingly weak by it. And now, even as I write this, I realize my britches have been unfastened the whole time. Shy pox on top of the hard difficulty mode would just be fucking ridiculous. Like... Imagine that, about to kill a boss, and then shy pox, and then they just counter three times in a row, you lose. Looks like we're going up. We're just hitting switches. You gotta hit a switch. You gotta hit a switch. Can you fall down? I think you can jump down. Alright, I'm not even trying to figure it out anymore. If you can fall off or not. Look at this guy. Chest time. An urn of saints' ashes. What the hell? Cleans off curses. Recipe? Storm from the north. Alright, immediately identifiable by their fierce and blood curdling war cry, the vicious Vikings are known to many as the terror of the northern seas. They are known for their love of pillage and plunder, and the stories tell of their sailing up and down. Such bloodthirsty raiders comprise only a small part of the Viking population. The majority of this hardy people are, are honest men and women, traders of considerable competence. Should you happen to encounter a member of the intriguing tribe, be sure to greet them with a warm smile and a full goblet. Huh? Do so and you will have the Star Starworth Alley for life. They're not bad people is what they're saying. Okay. Gun, 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 gun. Tired of these pigs oinking, man. Um, what the hell? Okay. Favorite fashions of the Masters of Magic. He takes a look inside. Soul learns how to make witch hats, witch robes, witches. Please, please, please. A staff. A really good staff. No, they didn't let me. Um. This is a freaking dragon here, bro. Um, I'm just gonna leave them alone. Because they didn't. They, they're not even bothering me, dude. They're not. I'll, I'm not even gonna. Attempt to attack these people learning how to, you know, read. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave them alone. Whoa, look at that. That's pretty cool looking. There's dragons in here teaching pigs and luchadors. 
it's magically sealed and it won't go away. We can go upstairs right now, but let's see what else is on this floor. Recipes? Apply the ring theory, aging Yggdrasil. Cut down a tree and upon the exposed stump you'll see a pattern of rings, the number of which will be equal to the number of years the tree has lived. But what of Yggdrasil? Where are we to fell the greatest and most ancient of trees? Would we see such rings? And how many might there be? Just how many years has the world tree been there watching all? Yeah, that's kind of crazy how people figure that out. Oh, the number of rings on a tree stump is how many, you know, years it's been alive. Hey, man, what's going on? What up, Shenlong? Are we fighting this dragon? We haven't fought it before, and he's not doing anything. An anthology of elemental earrings. Uh... Step asbestos, asbestos, anti freeze, rubber rings, aerofoil rings, concrete rings, mirror earrings. Hey man, I need I need to whoop your ass for my compendium. Um, I'm sorry to do this. Oh my face! <laughs> Professor Saurus, oh my god, Professorus. That's hilarious. Okay, I thought he was gonna do head ass damage, and he didn't. Down, down. Breathe fire on him. Burn! Burn! Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. No, they don't really sound safe, do they? Sounds like a delicious chip flavor, actually. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> a delicious chip flavor, you know, because asbestos, chip, lead, chip, okay. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. Um, we're gonna go upstairs. We read that book already. Um, that statue, but it's leave me be, bro. Oh, no! 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 I hate these guys. Okay, drain magic is not as terrible as getting critical hit at the death. Shit, man. This dude is a fucking problem. <laughs> These mimics don't play games, bro. We gotta sell rattle. the fucking this mode too man this is silly oh my god this is stupid oh I need one of them up man I need one of my damage dealings up this is terrible. This is a terrible situation. Let me at him. Oh, silver Ha ha. I don't have an Yggdrasil leaf. This is ah! ah! Thank you! Fuck you and your thwacking! 
Fuck you, you thwack offer. Alright, Rab has to get people up. Decelerate this ass white. Thank you. Zing stick. Take it. Somebody might die here. Ah, nobody died. Thank you. Oh my god. All right. We might be alive here, folks. Oh my god. Get the fuck out of here. You still ain't dead, bro. You still ain't dead. Yoga flame burnt that chest. Oh my god, dude. another day, another victory. Jay didn't get no experience. A seed of skill that's it. Not a bundle of seed of skills, not a bundle of seeds, just a seed of skill. Here, man, yeah, you worked real hard for that seed of skill. He almost died for it. Or one increase. <laughs> no pain, no gain, right? Shut up. Shut up. Shut your bitch ass up. That was too much work. Too much effort. For for that reward. For that small ass reward that we got. Actually, this might be a new area. If I fall down in there. Yeah, that's a new area. Anything in here? Nothing. Alright, I should probably change up my party lineup. Let me have my optimized team in, by the way. Hey, Silvando so has pep! Hey, <laughs> Silvando so has pep! Alright, so we don't have to worry about getting him into pet mode when we need him to get in pet mode. Get away from me, you bitch ass statue. Yeah, keep hopping in place. I don't know how a statue can move, but okay. Yes, my friend? Sleeps upon these very shells, okay. I try to check it. The reason why I had opened up the menu in the first place was try to bring up the menu for uh, the, ch the peep under the chest. Alright, so we're going to come over here. So this should let us get into the center area, right? Right there, we can just fall in. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Alright, I guess you couldn't fall in, but you could just. These dudes are not aggroing. The body is completely worn through, and soul can only make out the words. Justin, what? What does that even say? It literally only took like two seconds for him to get in the pep right there. That was kind of, uh, I ain't gonna lie, that tilted me for a bit. This dragon's like, hey man, I ain't trying to fight. Me neither, man. Believe me. Believe me, I ain't trying to fight either. Alright, so it looks like we are going down. Uh, 
Are we creating a shortcut here? Alright, so yeah, now we just need to find out what is the next step to doing this puzzle. Um, so I think I need to either go back up and maybe re-hit another switch. But I can't go back up. Not through this route, anyway. So I hit that one already. Shut up, piggy. Alright, come over here. And keep walking. Walk this way. Uh, uh leave me alone, Shadow. Leave me alone, bro. Get out of here, you Echo Fighter. So at the beginning, I can't hit the same switches again. Dude's just looking at me like, "Hey, man, you better move or knock you out, fam." All right. Okay. Looks like we made it to our destination. Aha! This should be very useful indeed. It is the great mage's account of how he imprisoned the witch in the grimoire. Let's see now. The magic of the sorceress was passing strong. Even with all my energies, I could neither conquer nor constrain her. And so I did conspire with a great enchanted beast that by its incorporation of a piece of the witch's magic, I might by my small strength subdue her. Thereupon was the witch imprisoned in a book and laid to rest in the Royal Library of Sniffelheim. As for the beast, it haunts the nearby Hexwood to this day. I see. So, even the greatest mage of the Age of Heroes needed the help of a magical creature to seal the witch away. Wow. A great enchanted beast? Well, you certainly met one of those in the Hexwood. That thing that was supposed to be the witch's pet. Oh? Tell me, what did this creature look like? Who's this big old ugly ass thing? Hmm. <laughs> a rounded white body with a golden mane. Two pointed tusks jutting from an enormous jaw. Uh, that pretty much sums it up. How can you have been so foolish? The monster you defeated was the very same one that kept a part of the witch's power sealed away. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what a twist. Yikes. Oops. <gasps> it's not his fault. Queen Frizzabel told us it was on the witch's side. She said it guarded her against intruders. Is this true? But why would Her Majesty say such a thing? Hold on. I'm sure I've seen that symbol somewhere before. Wasn't it on the front of the book the Queen was reading when we first met her? Yikes. The Queen is actually the witch. <laughs> what a twist. It's not like we saw that one coming. Or this? Why, this is the Sorcerer's Seal. It is a ward placed on all the forbidden books of the Great Library. Which means that book the Queen was reading was forbidden. Wait, what if it was the book the Witch was sealed away in? What if... Oh no! We need to go back to Sniffelheim and talk to the Queen. I've got a feeling there's some funny business afoot. Yikes. 
Hold on, hold on. There's one, two, three books up in here. With a switch there. Hold on, one of these is gonna give us a recipe. What are we cooking today? All ye first days, Shul takes it long ago, a goal. Gathered together, forgotten people lost the time, the people, pages are fading, illegible, damn. Sounds like we should just toss it out. Atonement concerneth realm, all but invisible, however within dwelleth spirits of sprites faint, yet mayhap even time itself. Uh-oh, you know those little ghosts? You know those spirits we've been looking at? We've been looking at and no one has ever seen it? We've seen those spirits. It's just we don't have any fucking clue as to what they mean or what the, why they exist and what they are. Most forbidden terrible power in a time shattered world shall fall to ruin the Pugidor. It's like little foreshadow stuff. That's cool. Soul doesn't understand the language. Soul needs to go back to school. What does this do? Shortcut? Whoa! I think I just made a shortcut for everything. Alright. This dude is just teaching his kids. It'd be a shame if I whooped your kids in your ass. Sure it would be a shame. Oh, we gotta get all the way down. The sham sandwiches. Leave me, leave me alone. Who designed this library to be like this? Hey, cuz. Hey, hey. Leave me alone, Shadow. Y'all know I don't. Oh, look at this. Apparently, we found the chest that I didn't even see here before. Molten globules. That was definitely not there before. So what's on the other side? That's how we went up and that's how we got this first switch in the first place. All right. So I think what, wait, I can just zoom out of here. Why did I, well, technically if I had zoomed out of here, I would have missed that chest. Ah, I see. They rewarded me for actually walking out of here like a normal person would. So what we're gonna do here, if there's no cutscene, we're going to immediately zoom to the nearest campsite. We're going to Save the game, take a short break, and once we come back, we'll be back with them all. Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age.